Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox, and the first thing you might be thinking is, Drew, where did this green wall come from? Well, I'm slowly working on my room makeover, and yes, I installed a board and batten wall and I painted it green. I am in love with my room so far. You guys are going to love it. The video is coming out in the future, but that's besides the point because today we have such an exciting collab with my good friend McKenna over at XO McKenna. So as many of you guys know, I recently moved back in May, and before moving, McKenna and I have done a collab in the past. I believe it was about a year ago, but I actually moved right literally next door to McKenna like she lives down the street from me I could see her apartment from my apartment which is absolutely crazy we live so close to each other but because of social distancing and COVID and everything we haven't been able to hang out or even see each other's apartments since moving literally next door so we were like let's do some form of socially distanced collab and that is exactly what we have for you guys today so not only are you getting a video here on my channel there's also a video over on McKenna's channel and you guys are going to want to check out both so definitely head over to her channel after this one but I kind of to give you a rundown of what you're going to be watching today. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to a thrift store and I'm going to be picking out three items for McKenna. She's going to be picking out three items for me and they could basically be whatever we want. Like it doesn't really matter what they are. They could be DIYable. They could be gross pieces like it just doesn't matter like they could really be anything and we're going to be dropping them at each other's doorsteps DIYing and upcycling the pieces and then sharing with each other via FaceTime what we ended up creating so I have no idea what I'm going to get McKenna because of course thrift stores are very hit or miss and she has no idea what she's going to be getting me so for you guys it's only going to be about five seconds until McKenna's thrift clips are in here but for me it's going to be a couple of days so here is how McKenna's thrifting went Hey Lone Fox family, it's McKenna from Exo McKenna and we are going to be on a mission and going to some of my favorite thrift stores in Los Angeles safely with a mask and hand sanitizer to find some pretty interesting pieces I hope. You never know when you're going to go thrift shopping what you're going to find to drop off to Drew to see what amazing, amazing things that he can come up with. So let's head to the first stop. I always like to look for a variety of things that I could flip more easily and then things that may be a little more complicated or take a little more creativity. I want to give him a challenge. What are these? Are they just blocks? Wow, I wish I had these when I was doing some candle holders. That's so cool. How much are they? Six. So a dollar a block. I don't know. He could probably do something really interesting with these. Okay, this is cool. Would this be like a big project? It's 20 bucks. It's so cool. You can find the strangest. <laughs> little things at the thrift store. Is this a maternity mug? Why is it actually so chic? That's so funny. This clock is kind of cool, but I feel like you, I mean, you could make it into a better clock, but like, is it too random? This frame is kind of cool and unique, like with the side, if it was like a different color and yellow is 50% off. So it would only be like seven bucks. Oh my gosh, okay. We get to put all of our fun, really cool thrifting pieces on his doorstep. I got one more, hold on. I cannot wait to see what he does with all of these cool pieces. I just heard a knock on my door and he told me that she was going to be dropping off the package. So I'm heading down now to see what she picked out for me. <gasps> Oh, some large items. Oh. Wait, you guys can't really see it. What is this? Oh, is this a vintage dart board? Wait, how? Like, wait, what? A, when? I, you guys, I don't know what to do. I'm actually shook. I'm gonna have to figure out something for these. Oh, and some wood blocks. This, I already know what I could potentially do with this. This seems like a little bit easy and this seems very challenging. So we're gonna have to see exactly what I could do with these pieces, but I'm gonna bring them upstairs. 
Okay guys, it is the next day now and McKenna dropped off my three thrift store finds yesterday and I just decided that I was going to like sleep on it and come up with concepts for it and today is going to be the day to create the projects. But I kind of wanted to share them with you because I was looking back on the footage and realized not everything showed really greatly. I'm gonna kind of start from easy to hard because she said there was like an easy, a medium, and a hard project. So the easy is these wood blocks that she got me, which I have used these before actually. I believe these are directly from Joanne's Fabrics and I have a concept for this in mind which is kind of a very daring concepts then she got me this which this is super unique and fun this is a vintage like dartboard actually I don't even know if it's vintage but it's like a dartboard cabinet situation however I have no need for a dartboard if that makes sense like I just don't know what I'm gonna do with this I do love the shape of the cabinet I'm not a fan of this wood color though it's like a cherry tone it comes off a little more brown on camera it's very very red like I don't know if you can see can you see that it's like just that red cherry wood which is just not my favorite as I talk about it when my bed's like right here looking the same on camera. And the last thing that she got me was this very large kind of lattice picture frame. I don't know if you can see that. This is actually the one that I'm kind of struggling on the most because I don't know what to do to transform this into something completely different. I might just keep it like the same because the picture frame's actually unique. Like I think this is kind of fun. So those are the three thrifted items that McKenna got me and I'm gonna go ahead and start working on these projects. So let's get started. Alrighty guys, let's jump right into project number one. I'm gonna be using three of the wooden blocks and the first thing I'm gonna do is find the center point on one of the blocks. This is going to be the top portion, so we wanna find the exact center. As you can see, I draw two lines and where they intersected was the center point and I'm gonna be using this one and a half inch drill bit, which I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this was a little challenging. You kinda had to take it slow, but once you got the hang of it, it was okay. I would probably suggest wearing like some form of glove or something to protect your hand because the drill bit takes up a large section however I just made sure I was really safe and got it basically drilled through on one side here as you could see it did break a little bit but that is no worries it's going to be glued together so what I'm gonna do is I want to drill two holes directly across from each other on two of the blocks and then on the third block I'm actually just gonna drill a hole on top and then one on one of the sides and this is gonna be where the cord comes out this will all make more sense when I get to the actual like stringing through the cord so I'm gonna sand some of those holes here is a little light socket this is from ikea it's one of the hanging pendants i'm adding a bit of hot glue to the top and i'm going to feed it through our broken section which just happens to be on one of them and then push it through and have the top where the light would kind of screw in come out the top of one of our blocks i'm then going to feed it through our second block which has two holes directly across from each other push it all the way up to the top there, add a little bit of hot glue. This is going to secure them together. And this is where I was saying the broken section doesn't matter because it's gonna be glued and sandwiched in between another block. So you're not even gonna see it. Now we're gonna connect the third block. So I'm stringing that through on our cord. And as you can see here, it's gonna connect perfectly to the middle block and then the cord's gonna come out the backside, which is great. So it'll kind of sit level on top of a table. So here is the base of our lamp. And I wanted to go ahead and tape off any sections that I didn't wanna get paint on as I am going to be painting this piece. And I decided to use the Portola Lime Wash paint, which is the same exact paint I used for Marie's entire room makeover, but it does give you a very concrete look. So I figured it would kind of look cool on this geometric industrial style lamp to have a concrete vibe but also you can consider just painting it with acrylic paint or even wrapping it with some form of marble contact paper to give it like a more luxury feel so I went in and did the primer coat first let that dry and then did one coat with a nice coarse brush to kind of add some texture because once it dries down you get some good texture so here I'm gonna let it dry for about an hour and I'm applying a second coat and I'm just gonna roughly apply the second coat and then let the second coat dry remove the tape, and that really finishes off this first project. picture frame really, really stumped me. I wanted to turn it into something other than a picture frame. However, I just could not come up with an idea. So I decided I was going to turn it into a half picture frame, half mood board situation. So what I did was I popped out the back cardboard piece and then also pulled out the artwork on the inside, which was honestly really cute. It's like a 70s inspired floral piece, which I'm definitely going to reuse in the future and pulled out the glass piece as well, brought it outside and I gave it two full coats of the matte farmhouse black spray paint. And I just love 
love the way this spray paint looks. It has such a pretty finish. It's almost like a satin matte and it's also super dark. So in the end, this frame just looked 87 times better, you guys. Like I was really obsessed with it. I gave it two full coats of the spray paint. And then I went back inside and I cut apart this cardboard box because I wanted an additional piece of cardboard to put in the backing. Since we're not going to have the glass and I want to turn this into like a pinnable mood board, I decided to just use cardboard for that. So the backing was initially cardboard. So I cut out another piece of cardboard. So it was double the thickness. I actually ended up cutting out three pieces, but I only ended up using two of them. So as you can see here, I have all three of my pieces here. And then came time to covering with fabric. I actually had this linen curtain, which was for my old apartment and I saved it, but it was just a little too stark. I felt like the black needed a kind of more of a creamy yellow tone. So I ended up going for this canvas here, which is just like a normal heavyweight canvas. I got this at Joann's Fabric. And what you're going to do is you're going to wrap it around one piece of cardboard. And I just suggest snipping the corners as I showed and then just hot gluing it and making sure that every time you hot glue it, you pull it really taut. That way the front side of it is nice and clean and wrinkle free and just looks like it fits the frame. In the end so i'm just going ahead and wrapping this all the way around just cut all of your corners and when you're finished it should look something like this after my frame was all dry it looked like this which i thought it looked stunning i loved the black it just really transformed the whole piece and i popped in firstly my canvas wrapped cardboard and then my second piece of cardboard and then all i had to do was just pry back down those little bar sections and that finishes off our pinnable mood board and I'm sure you all know by now, I had to save my favorite project for last. I started off by removing all of the hardware. So I was able to remove the doors. I set them aside as you could see here. And then on the inside, I removed the bottom wood section that was on the bottom of each of the doors by unscrewing it. And then I ripped out the little chalkboard section and used a hammer to basically remove and press down any staples that were on the inside of the door. I really want a clean finish on this door. However, I do want to utilize the top wood piece. So I also filled the holes with some stainable wood filler just so they were fully filled as I will be painting this in just a little bit. I let this dry. Um, I'm also going to be removing the magnetic pieces that were in the main box section and giving it a nice cleaning to make sure that it is prepped and ready to be primed. I knew I wanted to add an interesting detail to the front of this piece. So I went to the local cane and basket supply store, which McKenna and I frequent quite often. I actually saw her there. So I know that for her project, she's using something cane related, but I went ahead and while this was still dark wood, I used a pencil to trace out underneath the cane so I could see exactly what I wanted to cut out. And I created essentially like a little template for the front of this piece. And then I also cut it down at the center. That way, once I had both of these pieces done, they were ready to glue on later. Later. So I opted to use the Benjamin Moore Fresh Start Multi-Purpose Latex Primer. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm actually going to be following the same exact painting technique that I used to paint Marie's vanity in her bathroom makeover. And that's because the wood of her vanity was very, very, very similar to this wood. And that paint job that I did on there has not chipped. It has not scuffed. It looks literally perfect. So I went ahead and I gave the entire box a priming using this priming paint. And then as you can see, I also removed a little hair hanger at the top. And the paint color here is the same paint color I used on Marie's Vanity as well. It's a really pretty kind of pinky toned cream and the color is October Sky by Benjamin Moore. It's really incredible and I'll make sure to put a link to the exact paint I used below because it's a specific one by Benjamin Moore that is primarily used for cabinetry to make sure you have a nice clean chipless finish. And I also ended up using a wooden dowel that I cut down to three inch sections because I wanted to kind of add a ring section inside of this vanity area. So I cut down three of these little dowels and then I hot glued them into the middle bottom of our cabinet because this is great to just kind of stack some rings on and store them in there. I also had a large 14 inch mirror in my stash of craft supplies and I was like, it fits perfectly in here. And why not have a mirror in your makeshift little jewelry vanity section so I glued that on the inside as well 
and then it came time to adhering the rattan to the front of the door. Now, this is super simple. As many of you guys know, I use the Gorilla Hot Glue Sticks, which are super, super strong bond. I will link them below for you guys. So I just run a bead all the way around the edge, and then I kind of just tap my rattan down to make sure that it's nice and stuck down. And I do this all the way around the entire door, around every single edge. And then I'm using what's called reed spline, and I'm going to be bending it to kind of clean up the edge. This is the same exact material I used on my rattan bookshelf Ikea hack transformation I did a while back. So I just kind of bent this into shape and I cut it as needed and I just glue it right on top of the raw edge that we cut. I always really love the way that the reed spline finishes off any project. I feel like it gives it a nice clean finish without having to do traditional rattan techniques of like hammering it and wetting it and drying it. So I went ahead and I cut additional pieces to go all the way around all of the edges of the door. Now that the exterior of the doors look amazing, we're going to be working on the inside. So I used a pen to mark five different holes on the underside of this wood piece, and then I used a small drill bit to drill five of the holes out because we're going to be using these little golden screw hooks, which are going to act perfectly for necklace holders or bracelet holders. So I'm going to twist them in. And a little tip is if you guys have a trouble ever like kind of screwing these in, because I know I do all the time, use a screwdriver and stick it in there and you can actually just twist it like I'm showing here. So I went ahead and I screwed all five in on both of the doors and all you have to do is just reassemble it by putting the hinges on it, the magnetic clasps and that finishes off the project. Oh my gosh, hi McKenna! <laughs> oh my god. Don't you love that you're literally like five houses down from me, but we're just FaceTiming each other from our rooms? We can probably yell and uh, still- Still, it'll be totally fine. I'm so excited to share with you my projects that I created from the items that you found me. I was literally so scared when you brought them over. I was like, what am I gonna do with that dartboard? Like I was staring at it for so long, but I figured the wood blocks was like an easy one. You said it was like easy, medium, hard. So yeah. do you think I should share with you my easy one first and then yeah. go to medium and hard? and go make up and grow what am i trying to say honestly i think you're going to be pretty impressed with my easy project uh, really? yeah are you ready to see i'm, I'm ready okay okay <laughs> wait look <laughs> Okay, so this is just a little wooden block and then I painted it with like some cement paint. Like it's the same paint I used in Marie's bedroom. And then I almost broke my fingers off by drilling humongous holes through all of the blocks because I already knew that these blocks were hollow because I've had these in the past. So I drilled holes and then basically fed it. Yeah, super light and I fed it all the way through and turned it into this like little situation here. Alrighty, so that was my wood block project and now do you want to see the picture frame? I can't wait. Okay. okay. I'm asking doing like a custom art in it or something, but... Um, kind of. So okay, I'll show you what I did. I created this bulletin board. That is so cool. The black transformed black. it. Like, totally. I use that mat, um, or the farmhouse black, like the Rustoleum one. And then I just did layers of cardboard in here and then put like a canvas over it so you can like pin things into it. That is the biggest pin board I've ever seen. Isn't it cute? And you can like hang it horizontal or vertical. So I did not know. I was trying to turn it into like something like a tray or something like completely different from a frame, but. That is I love that one. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Okay, so then there was the dartboard, which that was the most challenging one for sure. And it took, it was the most time consuming for me. Like I worked on this all day yesterday and like all this morning as well. Um, wow. But do you remember what it looked like? I do. It was <laughs> like a weird emblem. Yeah. Pretty wood color and everything was falling apart. It yes. Was like, it was like not, not great shape. Are you ready to see what I did? I did. I did and okay, here it is. <laughs> it's completely different. 
It doesn't even <gasps> like look. I created it into a little jewelry vanity station. Oh my god. So I took out the bottom piece that held like the little um yes. darts and then I kept the top. Um, and then I added jewelry hangers here. And then look, I literally did like little ring hangers in the middle. And then like these can hold your other little smaller items. And then there's a mirror right there to see yourself. And then, but it's gonna, the thing is, is I forgot to get little mounters for the back. So I need to put like some mounting pieces on the back because I didn't like that wire that was at the top of it. So I want it to be wall mounted though, because that will just look so cute if it's like on the wall. It's so cute. It's so stylish. A little I knew that that piece could be something amazing. Like not a dartboard. I mean, we, do you play darts? I don't play darts. I don't play darts. I don't even know There's how to play no that game. Use. They're all amazing. They're Thank so you. <laughs> so that was my little Axel McKenna thrift flip upcycle challenge complete. Alrighty guys, this was my video of our two-part collaboration. So if you are not already, head over, check out McKenna's video, and also make sure to subscribe to McKenna because her content is so good. We both do very similar stuff. So if you like watching my content, you're definitely gonna like McKenna's as well. Check out her video where you can see what I actually picked up for her at the thrift store. And, and if you are not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post brand new videos on home decor and DIY every single week. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Lone Fox Home. And I guess that's about all. McKenna and I will see you quite soon on our own channels and probably again on our a collab in the future if we should do this again you guys let us know in the comment section below because we yeah. definitely will so bye see guys. you next time bye guys <laughs>